In this video, we learn about the topic named as breakpoint. As the name says, it will break your execution part. If you are executing some test, it will ask you to stop temporarily. After that, you can see what is the problem in the script and then you can start your execution again, right? Now, when I say as a breakpoint, what exactly it will do? Now, for example, I have recorded a sample application that was my flight sample application. And what I've done is I've recorded uh, wrong username, wrong password, and I've clicked on OK button. Definitely it will throw me an error message. And after that, I've closed the application. So that is what I've done the recording. That recording, that script, what I've done is I have parameterized with different agent name. Okay, those are all the incorrect agent name. Definitely if I click on that OK button after entering agent name and password, incorrect agent name, so it will definitely give me an error message. Now, if I want to see the error message, how do I see that? But for that, before inserting some breakpoint and working on that, let us see what exactly this script will do. So I'll just execute this. I'll click on run and I'll click on run. The name of the test is breakpoint test right now. And I'll click on this run button. Now, if you observe, it will enter some details and I'll get an error message, this error message. Normally, I cannot see what exactly is the error message. So what I'll do is I'll ask him to keep a pause. Okay, I'll put a breakpoint so that at uh, every step it will come at every execution, every iteration, it will come and stop and then I can see what is the error message. So for that, what I have to do? I have to go back to the test. Okay. Now, if you see the second last line, it says after, sorry, if the third last line that says WPF button, okay. After okay button, if I click, I'll get a dialog box. That's a message box. I'll get it. So what I'll do is if I click on okay, after that, I want it to stop. Okay. If I want it to stop, I can just keep my cursor on the fourth line. Okay. And I can keep click on the left hand side of this four. So the breakpoint will be applied. So the red dot means that's a breakpoint. It will come and stop there. Okay. So if I want to remove the breakpoint, I'll just click back on that. If I want to insert, I'll just click back on that place. So inserting breakpoint is simple. Use a mouse and click it. That is one method. Second method is I can use the shortcut key as F9. If I press F9, it will insert and remove the break breakpoint. F9 will insert and remove the breakpoint. Otherwise, if you want, you can go to this run and you see there's an option as insert and remove breakpoint. If I click on that, it will insert a breakpoint. Same way, if you want to remove, you can go back. Now, what is the benefit of inserting a breakpoint? You observe this. Now, it is supposed to work for five iterations and now I'll execute. After execution, you see that if I click on run, I'll click on this run part. My execution will come and stop at that point of time. You see the cursor is blinking. It is still stopped here. That means it is paused temporarily. So what I can do is now I can read the error message which is given on the sample application like this. If I go to this place, yeah, I can see the error message is incorrect username or password. So that is the error which I found out. So after that, I don't have to click on this place, neither on this place. I have to ask him to continue the execution. So after the cursor, you see the yellow icon which is given here. I, if I want to continue, I'll just click on this run. Again, it will keep on execution. Again, at the second iteration, it will come and stop at that point, that the fourth line. The reason is breakpoint. So if I want to see what is the error message on the second line here itself, second execution, the message is the same. So maybe at every iteration, if I want to keep a track, this is the best method that is inserting a breakpoint. So I can just click on run. Five times I have to click on this part because there are five iterations. Okay, so again, I'll click on this. And the last one. Okay, so breakpoint test is the name of the test which I've given here. Now, if I go back, if I want to go back to the action, if I want to insert multiple breakpoints is the same method, you can keep on clicking at this place. So multiple breakpoints will be inserted. So every time it will come and stop to this place, then you have to again ask him to run. Again, it will come back to this place. Again, you have to ask him to run and so on. So it will keep on executing the part. So inserting multiple breakpoint is the same. Just click on left hand side of the numbering part. That is one method. Now, the second one is they are inserted. If you want to remove all, that is one option. Okay. So if you go back to the run menu bar, insert and remove breakpoint we have seen. There's one more option known as enable and disable breakpoint. So if I click on this enable and disable breakpoint, if I click on this place, okay. Again, I'll go back, run enable disable breakpoint so you see what happened is the breakpoint will be there but it will not be enabled it will be disabled here okay so how do i show you that first thing is i'll just remove all the breakpoints i can show you for one example yeah now the next one is if you want to enable or disable the breakpoint how do you do that so for that i'll just keep my cursor at this breakpoint 
I can go to this run and you see there's an option as enable and disable breakpoint. My cursor should be blinking at that point. I'll just click on this enable disable breakpoint. So that is, it has been disabled. Now when I execute my test, it will not stop at this place. The breakpoint is there, but it is empty. It is not filled with any color. So I'll just execute and run. So you see, it is not getting stopped. It is continuing with this iteration, whatever it is doing, right? So the breakpoint is there, but it is disabled. Right. So similarly, if I want to insert multiple breakpoints, I can keep on clicking on this places like this. Okay. So if I want to uh, enable and disable all the breakpoints at one time, I can go to this run and you see there's an enable disable breakpoint. So all the breakpoints are right now disabled. They are present, but they are disabled. Similarly, I can go to this run and I can say yes, enable all the breakpoints. And the last one, if you see, this was inserting, enabling and disabling. But if I want to remove all the breakpoints, I can just go to this run button and then I can see as clear all breakpoints. So you see all the breakpoints, whichever were there that has been removed. Okay. So I hope you're able to understand all the things about the breakpoint, how to insert, remove, enable and disable. That's all for this video.